We're heading through western Arkansas on our way to a little town called Alma to meet Colleen, Nick, and her family. So guys, this isn't a happy day for this family. Exactly 10 years ago today, Colleen's six-year-old daughter was kidnapped, basically right in front of her eyes. Now, 10 years later, she's still missing, but Colleen hasn't given up hope. Take a look at this tape, hear their story, and you'll see exactly why we're heading there right now. Hi, we're the Nick family. I'm Taryn and I'm 11. I'm Colleen and I'm the mom. I'm Logan and I'm 13. We'd also like to tell you more about somebody that we're missing from our family. So 10 years ago, Colleen Nick was a single mom raising three kids, Morgan, Logan, and Taryn. Well, one summer evening, the family traveled about 30 miles away from home to a town called Alma to watch a little league game. She'd been gone to play 15 minutes. I mean, she was playing 50 yards away from me, and I didn't see what happened. Now, little six-year-old Morgan was catching fireflies with some little kids and friends nearby, while Colleen, well, she watched the game. Because she was only six years old, and she was afraid of the dark, I knew that she hadn't gone off by herself. This was a parent's worst nightmare. Colleen's six-year-old daughter was abducted by a stranger and she had no idea how to find her. Police arrived within six minutes and began a search. That's still going on today. Colleen wouldn't give up on her missing daughter. To be closer to the scene of the abduction, she uprooted the whole family and they all moved to Alma. Basically, they bought the only house they could afford, an old fixer-upper with a lot of plumbing problems. And she also started the Morgan Nick Foundation. It's a nonprofit that helps find other missing kids and counsels families. Um, my mom, she works pretty hard, and I'm really proud of what she does. It always gives hopes, hopes to other families. This is a family who has gone through so much, and they've helped other families in times of need. The family's still stuck in this tiny little house. Most of the money that Colleen makes goes back into her foundation. There's not a lot of money left over for the house. It's about more than fixing some things that are wrong with our house. It's about making a difference in the life of a child. It's about making a difference in the life of a family. And we're counting on everybody who could ever possibly watch this show to take a minute to look around them, to look at the children in their lives and the children on their street and the children in their community and to find the courage to make a call when they see anything that doesn't look okay. And if all of us work together, every missing child in America could come home. Guys, remember, this is a tough day for them. 10 years ago, you know, Morgan went missing. So what do you say? Can we make it happen? Oh, yeah. Yes. yes. We'll get in this, guys. We've got to. Let's do some good. All right. All right. All right. Here we go. Good morning, Nick family. Colleen, Logan, Taryn, wake up and come on out here. Hi. 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 Good morning, guys. They were wearing all the same T-shirts. It was really special to see that they care so much about the hope that they want to keep. Hey, you guys. <laughs> Hi. 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 Well, we know today's a really tough day for you guys. It's um, it's the day she went missing, right? Well, I'll tell you what, we're gonna try and make life a little bit easier on you guys. <laughs> this is Preston, <laughs> Connie, Paige, Michael, and Paul. Thank you so much. You are easy. Are you happy? No. Yeah. You got a great mom. <laughs> I know you guys. Every year, you get together with family and friends, right? Yeah. Well, we don't want you guys to break tradition today. Well, we'll probably send you on vacation tomorrow. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, you guys want to know where you're going on vacation? Yeah. How does Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida sound? <laughs> <laughs> you like this? So design team, we have a week. Let's get some ideas, okay? okay. So Nick family, show me the house. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> what happened to the carpet? Oh, well... Water heater exploded. Water heater exploded? How long has it been like this? It's about three months. Oh. I say it's more fun to skate in the house. So, Logan, things have worked out well. You get to skate in the house. That's great. <laughs> so, Logan, do you have a place to skate besides inside the house? I know. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Now you yeah. have to sit in the timeout corner. Well, watch out. He's coming by again. While this is going on, this is when you're usually sitting down at your desk and actually working. It's my home office. That's your home office. Right. Seriously, that's... Seriously, yeah, that's where I work from. And that's at the foundation that you... 
right for the Morgan Nick Foundation and also for the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. And so you'll be working on the phone, talking to uh, who does you need to talk to, work on the video screen, and this is what's happening in the background. Wow. Pretty much it. It's amazing that you accomplish that much from a very small area like that. It's wild. What she's done is taken a tragedy and turned it into a lot of little miracles. She's created the Mork and Nick Foundation. She's helped reunite over a hundred children with their families, and that is just amazing. And I see that you've got lots of inspirational words around, like believe and love, dream, believe, imagine, hope. I think that people don't understand that it's not just about Morgan, it's about Logan and Taryn. It's about their futures and about who we are as a family. It's about being able to dream and to imagine and to live out your dreams and to have hope for the future. And it just reflects who we are as a family. It's a tough life that Colleen has led in the last 10 years that her little girl disappeared, you know, right in front of her eyes. And she's had to live with that. Do you roll over the events of what happened that night in your mind? I think about it every day. It's a parent's absolute worst nightmare to lose their child when, you know, they're at a park, they're at a Little League park, they're with a bunch of other kids and parents and family, and her daughter was just gone. And Morgan was only, she only played 15 minutes. She was 50 yards away from me, and I could see her and I could hear her. But in that 15 minutes, totally changed her life forever, changed our lives forever because somebody thought they could come to this town and that they could take my child. You know, I think about what I could have done differently. I mean, she's my responsibility. I was supposed to keep her safe. <laughs> I'm supposed to keep her safe, that's my job. <laughs> she just thinks about this thing constantly and hasn't let herself be forgiven for that. She hasn't forgiven herself yet. Thank You've turned your pain into action. And you do everything you can to make sure that that will not happen to, to anyone else, if possible. You know it hurts every single day, but the choice is to, you know, sit home and cry when you have to and be out there and fight the rest of the time with everything I've got, with every fiber within my body to make a difference for Morgan, to make a difference for another child. You know, we've had the opportunity to work with families when children have been recovered, and I'm telling you, you talk about a joy that will sweep over your soul. Not bad. It's the next best thing to Morgan coming home. It's just singly the worst thing that could ever happen to anyone. And it can really tear up a family pretty badly. But she has held her family together and raised some amazing kids. Wow! Look at all this Man, have you guys been blowing up these balloons all day? 3,600 and and they put a little photo and a little card on it showing what she would look like, a number to call if you've seen her. So the thought is that these things go up. Who knows whether they're like a message in a box. Messages right? of hope. Wow. Messages of hope. You know, there are 2,000 children reported missing every single day in the United States. 2,000 people who thought that they had the right to take a child or to change a child's life. And I say that they don't have that right. We as parents, we as a community, we as a state have the right to stand up and say, we will make a difference for our children. We will not let this happen in Arkansas again. We're proactive, not reactive. Our children are going to be safe. We are going to protect them. We are going to have legislation that protects our kids. We're going to have safety educated parents and kids. Let me just tell you, if you've ever thought about taking a child from this community, let me put you on notice that it won't happen here again, I can promise you. This year uh, was the 10th anniversary, and so they let off one balloon for every day she's been missing. It was just a really wonderful day, a very sad day, but at the same time, it was a launch of hope. And um, hope is what basically keeps Colleen going.